Hey, this is Sarah from Sarah Liza Fitness. I am in the downstairs bathroom and I'm going to show you today if you have a toilet bowl that is disgusting like the one I'm going to show you now and it's from hard water deposits, I'm going to show you a way to get those off. People, we just have to do what we have to do. Otherwise, you're just going to have to pay somebody to do it for you. So anyway, here goes. I'm going to show you how to clean the toilet bowl and get it nice and white and clean. So we have people in our family with chemical sensitivities. So I have to be very careful what I use to clean the house. And most of the time I just use vinegar and a little bit of seventh generation dish soap and water in a spray bottle. And then um, I do use a little bit of bleach in the toilet to clean the toilet because it kills the germs and I just feel more comfortable about that. And then um, I use Barkeeper's Friend. So today I'm going to be working with that. I'm going to be cleaning out the scale and the bottom of the toilet. So this is the toilet bowl and if you were standing here it would look worse to you but I don't know if you can see all the black marks and the brown stuff on there. And that stuff just will not come off. It's like hard water deposits, even when I clean it with bleach. So I'm going to show you how to clean that. Okay, so first of all, you are going to need a bucket to put the water in. Because the way that the, the cleaner works that I'm going to use, you need to have it not be really wet. And so if I put that in the toilet, it would be in the water, and it's not going to do the job that it needs to do, the scrubbing job. So you need a bucket to put the water in. And you need some bleach because you want to clean it with bleach first, otherwise that's just plain gross. And then I have a small cup there, and then I have what's called Barkeeper's Friend. And that is awesome stuff. I use that for a lot of different things. I've got an extra container if I need that, and some scrub sponges. And I use an old bottle brush. And sometimes that gets into places where I can't reach with my hands. And of course I have my rubber gloves, so let's do it. Alright, so first I'm going to clean the toilet with bleach. Get my Mr. Clean Bliss rubber gloves on. Put a little bit of bleach in the toilet. So now I've got my water in here and I need to get that out so I'm going to scoop that out with this cup and pour it into my bucket. You want to get out as much water as you can. Sometimes what I have to do is take one of these sponges that will soak up the water to get the rest out of there. Okay, I think that's the best I can do there. Alright, now I'm going to take my barkeeper's friend. can get this at Target, Menards, wherever. And you just, you know, pull off the top thing and then you sprinkle that in the toilet. You want to get a good coverage. Sometimes it kind of gets packed in there. So you have to loosen it up. So there you can see I've powdered it with the barkeeper's friend. Then I'm just going to take my various scrub sponges and go to it. And you want your sponge to be wet, but you don't want it to be soaking wet. So you just want it to be kind of a damp. Um, I think I'll use this one. So you want to squeeze it out all the way as best you can. But you don't want it to be completely dry because that might scratch the, the surface. And then you just take it and you go in there and you start scrubbing where all the stains are with the dry powder. And it may take you a while depending on how bad it is. But there I've got a quarter of it already off there. Got to use a little muscle, get part of an arm workout in. Okay, I'm going to show you how that looks so far. 
So here you can see the section that I've already scrubbed. It's white. It's clean. Barkeeper's friend in there. Oh, I just love it when those stains come off there. Okay, put a little more Barkeeper's friend in there. And I think I'm going to try using the, the old bottle brush. Oh yeah, that's working. You do have to be careful not to splatter your face though when you use one of these things. Sometimes if you have a really stubborn spot, you have to get some of the stuff on your sponge actually, just a good chunk of it dry, and go after it like that. Alright, I'm going to call that good. Pour the water back in there that I had taken out of the toilet. Flush it. And there we go. Super white, clean toilet. No more water deposits, no more stains. It's all clean. So that's it. That's all it takes. A little bit of muscle and a little bit of barkeeper's friend. Sponge, a bucket, a cup, some bleach of course to clean it first, and an old bottle brush. And you can have a clean toilet bowl like that and it'll last, I don't know how long, it just depends on how hard your water is. So. If you have any suggestions as to how to clean the inside of a toilet better than I do, because I figured this way out on my own, I'm definitely a do-it-yourselfer, and I just went after it one day and figured this out. So if you have a better way to clean it and you can put that below, that would be great. I would love to hear it. Have an awesome day.